hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started hmm. create new head over to print a3 we select the precise we have resolution 300 and we create i'm going to double click this background here to unlock it add a new solid color for just black okay i'm going to add a gradient overlay okay guys i already have my gradient overlay set so i just click ok and i'm going to grab the ellipse change my color for to this color to so grab my ellipse again you said you press you And I'm going to draw an ellipse shape right here. Okay. So I'm going to draw an ellipse shape right here. Copy this test. Okay. Grab my test tool and I paste. Click the check mark. So I already have the font right here. I have it this way. Okay. You we'll click the check mark. I have it this way. Okay, we are just it. We have it this way. So I grab the rectangle tool and the rectangle shape right here. I'm going to change the stroke and same color. I have the stroke. I'm going to change the stroke size to we have 48. Okay. Head over to file place embedded. I select this image, please. So we have it right here. Click the check mark to confirm. Convert this to a small object. Control T and I transform. Okay, so we have it right here. Right click and create a clipping max. Sorry, we're going to undo. I'm going to make this ellipse bigger. Okay. So we have it right here. Control T and I transform. Click the check mark to confirm. Select the rectangle and I'm going to increase the corner radius. We have it this way. 385. So we have it this way. I'm going to select this layer, right click and create a clipping max. Hold, select these two layers, Ctrl G and group it. So I'm going to rotate this. Remove it to the top this way. So we zoom out, we're going to rotate a bit. Make it bigger. Okay. adjust this okay you click the check mark to confirm head over to notepad and copy all these tests right okay we copy grab my test tool and i'm going to paste this click the check mark to confirm I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this font. Ok, 
okay so we have the cook goggles right there i'm going to uncheck we have the tracking the leading as auto i like this and cut it click ok going to uncheck uppercase so i'm changing the size to 30 so we, we undo that we're going to change the size to 48 so we have it this way i'm going to grab my rectangle rounded rectangular tool do a rectangle shape right here so i already have the color fill as this color and i'm going to so we have this we head over to the we grab our test tool and paste the test okay we've cut this so i'm checking all our packages I want to put this test right in the shape. I'm going to move this layer to the top. Okay. Head over to test properties and change the size. Have the size as 45. to make this rectangle bigger click the check mark to confirm so control T and make this shape bigger and going to increase the test sorry so we have it right here head over to test properties and we're going to increase the corner radius okay so we have it there at 57 I'm going to select this test and change the color from to this color, the background, this shape. Okay, sorry, we undo that. Okay, we have the tracking, the leading as 36. I'm going to change it to 45. Okay and we drop it down a bit I'm going to select my ellipse tool and draw an ellipse shape right here I'm going to change everything to white the full and the stroke to white so I have the stroke size at 55 replace embedded Select this item. I'm going to place. Click the check mark to confirm. Convert this to a smart object. Control T. And I transform. Click the check mark to confirm. So I'm going to hold Alt and select the layer beneath to create a clipping max. So we have it right there. I'm going to transform a bit. Okay, we click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to create an ending shape once again. We have the white, we have the fill as white, the stroke size as white as well. I'm going to change the stroke size to 40. We grab the move tool and adjust this a bit. Okay. So head over to file place embedded. And we select this item replace. 
Let me check if I can convert this to a smart object. So control T and I transform. I need to make this bigger, okay. Create a clipping max. So we have it this way. So we can grab the ellipse tool and draw another ellipse again. I already have the color flow as this color. I'm going to grab my move tool and move this layer to the top. Okay. I'm going to select this and group it. So I have this as one group. Select this as well. And the second layer and group control G. So I have these two ellipses as separate groups. So I'm going to select this ellipse, control J. So I have two copies. And I'm going to hold Alt and Shift so I could reduce proportionately. Click the check mark to confirm. Grab the ellipse shape, head over to add a white stroke. And we have the size. And so we have the size as 15 or 12. Then we have the dotted one. Okay. So head over to Notepad and copy 25%. We we'll copy all these. I'll grab my text tool and paste. Click the check mark to confirm. So I'm going to highlight this and cut. So we I paste and I'm changing the, the font to accidental presidency. Okay. So I grab move to and to change the color for to white okay. I'm going to change the size 16, 72. I'm going to change it once again to 19. Okay. I'm going to select this. And I'm making all upper case. Changing the size to 13. Change the color fill as well to white. So I'll move it right under this. I'm going to reduce the size once again. Ctrl T and I transform OK. So we have it right under this. And I move it up. So we'll grab my ellipse tool. And I'm going to turn the color for to white. And draw an ellipse shape right here. Okay. Okay. So I grab my rectangle to one second and draw a rectangle shape right here. Change the color through to this color. Okay. So I'm going to select this ellipse. And the other layer is Ctrl G. These two ellipses and the text. So Ctrl G. So I have this as group 5. I have group 3. And group 2. So I'm going to select these three groups. Ctrl G. And I go to a single group. Okay. So I transform a bit. Okay. Click the check mark to confirm. Head over to Notepad and copy this test. So I got my test tool and paste. 
click the check mark to confirm. I'm changing the color flow to this color. Click OK. Head over to test focus and I'm going to change this tracking the leading back to auto and check about all our package and I'm going to change the size okay I need to change the size and the star as well so we have oxygen then we hold so we have the size of 16 so at 36 okay I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape right here. Okay. I'm going to change the color flow to this color. I click the check mark to confirm. Head over to Notepad and copy this. So I grab my test tool and paste. Click the check mark to confirm. Okay, and I'm going to paste that. Change the size to 30. So we're going to change the size to 30. I'm going to copy this number. I copy. I'm going to hold this and alt and I drag to duplicate. I'm going to highlight and paste here. Click the check mark and change the color from to white. So I'm changing this font to the Avalon. So we have the Avalon font right here. Change the size to 36. Grab my move tool and I'm going to transform this from 30. Okay, so we have it this way. Okay. I'm going to copy all these tests. Okay, let's copy this first. Grab my test tool and paste. Click the check mark. I'm going to change the color from to this right. Okay. So we're going to change the font. So i send them both. Okay, the size 36 is okay. We grab the move to Ctrl A and we center it right horizontally in the middle. We center this in the middle, we move it up. Alt and drag to duplicate. So head over to Notepad and copy this. Try grab my test tool. I'm going to change the color for to white, okay. I grab my test tool. And I paste. You will click the check mark to confirm. Grab the move to Ctrl A. We deselect this. Ctrl D. So grab my move to Ctrl A. And I center it in the middle. Ctrl D. We deselect. We copy this test. I'm going to hold Alt and drag to duplicate this test. Changing the size to 24. So I'm going to grab my test tool. Ctrl G. So we paste it right here. So we zoom in and transform this. 
control T. So we have this way. Click the chat mark to confirm. Okay. I'm going to select this layer. Okay. The daily will bring it down. I'm going to make this shape a bit bigger. Okay. Click the check mark to confirm. So we're going to select this layer and move it. Adjust it a bit. Okay. We have it this way. going to select all these layers the group system make it bigger so we have this group we're making that we're making that bigger we expand it going to select this test the rectangle and the daily so we're going to group control G so we have this as a group Group 7, okay, we have this as a group. So we adjust this just here a bit. Okay. We click the check mark. Okay, that is it. Alright guys, thanks for watching once again. See you in my next tutorial.